some of that dust and debris off of it before I start wet sanding. Once it dry, then we'll spray some guide coat on it. Start wet sanding. spray paint we're gonna use that as guide coat I'm gonna lightly mist it on Coat it. Now we'll start wet sand. Look like it's trying to rain on my hill. But I'm gonna get started on it before it starts raining. At least. I got my rigid block and my soft block. I'm gonna be using 320 like I said on my other video when I did the side scrapes and the bumper fillers. I'm gonna be putting a sill on it so it'll cover these 320 scratches up. Got me some soapy water and a rag. Got a piece of it in there, letting it soak. Might as well put my blocks in there. And I'm just going to find a spot to start. I might start on this front thunder here. I'll work my way on down and around the car. I'm just going to take it one step at a time. It's already going to start raining, but I'm still going to get started. What we're gonna do, we're just removing this guide coat. Once you remove it, that's when you know it's pretty much flat. No imperfections. Going in the X pattern. Looks like I'm gonna have to pull it on the inside if you keep on running like this. Looks like I'm gonna have to pull it on the inside. Seems like it's getting a little harder. Might not let up on me. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me wipe this. Show you what you need to be looking for. That there uh, is pretty much flat. I still got to bring this down some here though. I'll swap in here. Yeah, let me take it on this side. Then I'll probably finish up in there. Every time I get in the car, get rid of pull it on the inside, it'll slack up. So I'm just gonna stay out here to get real bad. I'm wet sanding anyway, so it really don't matter. Oh man, get wet.
I decided to go ahead and pull it in. But you can see I done done this top portion. Still got to do this bottom half. But I'm going to pull it in where it's going to smack up. Alright, got it in. I think I'm going to go handle some more business. And if it be done slacked up by the time I get done, I'll finish it up outside. Made it back. You can see the cotton dried off now. I got me some fresh water. I think I'll start back here. Kind of break it up a little bit. Knock this out. I done done this top half here. I like to do a section at a time. I do from here, this bottom line to this bottom line. Then I hop up here, do from here to here. And when I was doing this part up here, I had changed to the flex block instead of this rigid block. So to get down in these valleys here. A lot easier because you can't do it with this. It's ants everywhere. Finished with sanding the complete car from top to bottom. Also got let me open these door jams inside the door jams. I took off the front clip, the header panel also, because I, if I wouldn't have took this off, the paint would have bridged from the fender to the nose, where the ears, whatever you want to call them. I got them outside, let me show you. I had to feather edge around the edge here and I just put some set fit and primer on it. I think I'm going to paint these separate so I'm going to pull the car out then I'll put these back in the booth and paint them because I ain't got that much room in the booth to try to paint all of it at one time so I'm gonna hit this while I'm at it but I'll just add it in while I'm painting the car instead of making one separate video I had went back and we're saying all my areas that I hit with the epoxy well not epoxy but the uh, set pitch and primer I lightly hit it with some 400 grit now I got me some fresh soap and water. I'm gonna clean it up so I can get ready to pull it in the booth.
you want to make sure you get these jams real good because you're going to be masking. You want your mask and tape to be able to have something to stick to. So let me take care of that. Then we'll be ready to go in. Just finished washing everything down. Then I found two more spots back here. When I put the water on it, it showed up. So I'm repairing those areas. I put some glaze and put it here, two part, and right here. Got it sanded, now I gotta prime it, put some high bill on it, and sand it some more. Then I have to wash it back up. These two areas here, prime down with the high bill. Now I'm gonna take my block and hit it with some 400 with the whip sand. Then I shoot some more prime on top of it. Just spray some self etching prime on it. Wait for it to dry. Then I wet sand that. And wash it back off once again. Then I think I'll be ready. Got it in the shop, cleaned up. I didn't think I was going to make it this far today after I found this spot, this area here, but made some good progress today. I got the doors and the hood and the deck lid up, trying to let it drip dry. But I'm going to call it a night, come back out here in the morning. Then I jack it up and take the wheels off and start masking. But I do got it in the shop. following morning I done took the wheels off now I'm trying to clean up the inner fender wheels let me show you what I'm talking about I got my vacuum getting all this dirt I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's dirt here I'm removing all that because I don't want to start spraying start blowing that dirt everywhere which I'm gonna mask this area off, but I'm still gonna clean it up. Also, vacuum all this dust up here. I'm ready to start masking now. Cleaning up the inner fender wheels. Now I'll just be using just some regular masking paper. The cheap, cheap as I can find. I got different sizes. Some cheap masking tape. And some plastic. I'm gonna put this plastic over the motor. Try to keep some of this overspray off of it. Don't want to make it no worse than what it is. Also be covering up the top area and the trunk. I think I got everything masked up like I want it. Let me walk around the car, show you what I done done. See I put paper right here. 
and plastic along the bumper. The reason why I put paper, I didn't want the uh, plastic blowing back up when I paint this. So I can get up in there real good. Got the jam on the deck lid masked up. Trying to keep that overspray out. Also got the inner fender wheels done up. And I got paper along the bottom. Because like I said back there, I don't want the plastic flapping and blowing back up into the paint. Door jams. I got this piece for when I do shut the door. I can bring it up and connect it with that. The hood. Got the hood back mask. And the fender wheels. I just put a Walmart bag over the, the rotors. Brake pads. It's the front, which is going to be covered up, but I still want to paint it. I just stuffed the newspaper on the inside of it. The bumper socks masked up. Same way with the other side. And I'm also going to be painting. He got a center console he's going to put in here. This is the piece to go on top of it. I'm going to be painting it. I just got it sitting up here so when I paint it, I could easily remove it so I can get all the way around it. And I got a couple of more pieces over here, I'll show you. These go on the back, and this for a wood grain steering wheel. I'm going to be painting it. I'm going to put this back here, I'm going to show you. I was trying to be able to paint all this real easy without moving all, a lot of stuff around. So I'm going to have this back here. It won't be in the way. And them other pieces, they go right here. But I'm going to call it a night. Come out here first thing in the morning and get back started. About to get ready to start spraying now. Got these hung up right here. We're not hung up, just sitting here with some duct tape. So I could spread it all the way around pretty easy. But first, I'm going to wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover. Then I spray my cellar.
Got a one uniform color now. Good to spray the base. I'm going to be going with the Orion Silver by House of Color for the base coat. Let me show it to you. Let me mix it up, then we'll get the spray. Silver. I did three cover coats and a drop coat. Let me mix up this candy. It's a custom mix of cobalt blue and Oriana blue by House of Colors. I forgot to mention I'm going to attack it first before I spray the candy coat. I'm going to be using this dry tech. Got them from Harbor Freight. I think about 99 cent a piece. <music> Mistake be like all oh, your work you done done, you've done it from that. You gotta pretty much start over.
It's five coats here. I ain't never been this way I paint a car. I don't know if it's because it's hot or it's car so long. I know it's hot. It's drying up before I make it around the car. Yes, let me mix this clear up. Maybe I'll get some of this orange peel out from the dryness. You can see it there. But I'm going to be flow coating it anyway, so it ain't no big deal. I got the all candy wet wet plus I also got the house of color show clear. I'm trying to decide which clear I want to put on first because I'm going to do a flow coat. I asked him and he said it really don't matter but I can't go wrong with either either way I do it. I can't go wrong. So I might just put this house of color on first then once it dry wet sand it and flow coat it with the all candy.